don't play with me, don't play with me. Ta-da, ta-da, and we're back. On Box 29 News, we're building news report. We can box right on to the night. It's my peak, bro. Right out of here. This is all George Boy Chair Mackins in the back, Packins and Bad Gads, Cracks, and all that. First off, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> oh, you can buy a shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can buy a shirt. Or like, comment, subscribe because it's free. And if you help me with the free, I can get a Plackington. It's in the back of the lot of Ackington. You feel me? However, today's episode is not sponsored by nobody because I'm waiting for my man who brought two shirts. So put a comment in the comments. I don't know if I said if I don't even know if I told him to put it in the comments last time. But nigga, if you see it, put it in the comments so I can make you sponsor the show. You feel me? However, breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking fucking news. Oh, we at. Miss Jayana Webb. If you don't know who Miss Jayana Webb is, she is actually the young lady who was drunk driving, got pulled over by the police. They got another call about a man. She got pulled over by the state troopers. Excuse me. They got another call of a man walking on the e-way not too far from them. They let her drunk ass go. She started tweeting, yeah, I just got pulled over by the cops. Some niggas let me go. I'm, a, I'm the best drunk driver in the world. Swear to God. Well, Lord, he. All this stupid, dumb, retarded, diabolical, maniacal shit. They go pick up the final man. Her drunk ass come fly. Phew! Crashed and killed all of them. Everybody on the joint. The two state troopers. And the uh, nigga that was walking. So the nigga that was walking actually got what he was asking for. However, the other two, they probably didn't want that to happen. And usually, I don't know why God played this sick, twisted game where the drunk driver never died. Yo, that is, they never die, ever. You, if you drinking and driving, you can get thrown all the way to Africa. Like, Smash out the front window, body fly all the way to Africa. If you drunk, you are going to survive. That is crazy. However, for my dyslexia, says Gianna Webb, driver in I-95 crash that killed two Pennsylvania state troopers, pedestrian reports to prison. And I'm not happy she's going to prison. However, you must do the time for the crime, for the stupid decisions you make. You feel me? However, I'm going to send over my sister company. Take it away, please. Continue. Still, two Pennsylvania state troopers and a pedestrian will spend decades behind bars. Jayana Webb sentenced to up to 60 years in prison today. Oh, my God. 60. One, two, three, four, five, seven, 60. You feel me? And then she tried to be sneaky. And have a baby. She got, they let her home on bail or something. I don't know how she got home. She was going to go and get pregnant. So now, on top of the bad decisions you already made, you're going to make a double bad decision, have a kid, leave the kid for 60 years. I'm not the smartest nigga in the world. I ain't up in the Harvard, Yale, Princeton, none of them institutions. I'm just saying. And to you. After pleading guilty to causing the deadly crash on I-95 in South Philly back in March of last year. Pleading guilty at 60, I'm going to trial. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to trial like a Rizal. You feel me? Anything you. She had also reportedly bragged about driving drunk on social media prior to the crash. It was later learned that troopers Martin Mack III and Brandon Siska pulled Webb over moments before the crash, but were then called to help a man walking on 95. I did not see this video, y'all. I'm telling y'all the memory. Into you. Near the sports complex, Webb then fatally struck all three men and the trooper's patrol car. Sources told Fox 29 her blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit. Officials say Trooper Mack was 33 years old and joined the force in 2014. He left behind a wife and two daughters. Tro First of all, I hate why is your chin straps literally on your fucking chin? Put on fucking chin straps down. 
been to you. Francisco was 29 and had only recently graduated from the academy. He was also a fire chief at the Trap Fire Company in Montgomery County. He left behind a pregnant woman. Killed two Pennsylvania. Mm -mm -mm. See? Now, three kids got grew up with no parents. Because we know that nigga that you got pregnant by is not taking care of that baby for 60 years. That nigga just wanted it, though. You hear me? So, Jayana, I hope, I pray, I wish that after you done with your sentence, I hope that so at some point you can give that time back a little bit, probably in like 20 years, come meet your daughter and all that type of stuff. Hopefully they bring her to the jail to meet you and all that good stuff. However, when you get there, bitch, call us. Let us know, is you still the best drunk driver in the world? Or did you drive your ass to the jail? In other news, we had the kleptomaniac. He's a maniac, maniac. I don't even know where I got that from. I know I heard it somewhere in my subconscious, I swear to God. However, if you do know this man, this klepto, this grown man, he is not a young joy. Let's stop a stop a move and push. This nigga's probably 40. Too old for this. However, I'm going to my sister company. Take it away, please. Continue. Fine. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Excuse me, can I help you? What are, what are you doing? So, yes, nigga. Who you, nigga, who you looking for? You, nigga. Can we help you, nigga? Miss, do you know this nigga? Was he hitting? <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. That nigga said... Who's this motherfucker? Does she know who I am? That's what it looked like to me. Anything you. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who she talking to. Anything you. Excuse me. Why are you at my door? What are you doing? I'm not at your door. Yes, you are. Why are you trying to go into my apartment? Oh, all right. He said, I'm not at your door. It got to be. I could be wrong. I'm not assuming. I'm speculating. I'm. I'm Crossing my teeth and down, I'm making sure all stones is turned. You feel me? So, that nigga said, I'm not at your door. It must be his own door. He must have been in there before. Anything you. I'm going to call the police. I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Call him. He is not phased by that saying. <laughs> That's not working. Well, I watched this Medea movie. <laughs> that nigga said, Girl, if you say I'm going to call the police and he start apologizing, whoop his ass. But if you say that and he's going to call the cops for you, run like hell. I swear to God, you better run like hell. And to you. I'm calling the police. Get away from my door. Get away from my door. I'm calling the police. Sir. Please get away from your her door. However, if anybody does know this grown ass man, this bum, crumb, disgusting, trifling, nasty, retarded, ridiculous, sick, maniacal, diabolical motherfucker, please let me know. I'm gonna let the authorities know. We gonna get this nigga round up, put him right in front of Uncle Law, get him shot. The f right. I don't know if this is enough to get boot the ass of Phoenix, but Spitfield, Capo, Forest, Rock, Yabby, and Chester, Mahanoy, Frackville, Hunter, and Green. Someone said, what are them records since? I do not know. Because he didn't successfully get in. He was using the car. It wasn't really, like, aggressive. So, I, I, that's where I still need training at, y'all. However, let us know, nigga. What is wrong? In other news, where we at? A body on the track. <laughs> How do you get this far on the train tracks? Like, poor about his Lexus, I get through this, it says, a woman just passed out and fell onto the track of the northbound Spring Garden BSL line. I ran up to notify the septa gatekeeper. The train was stopped and paramedics are on the way. You talking about passed out. How did she pass out right here? Was she walking the tracks in one of them bolts? <laughs> Uh, lit that ass up like a Christmas tree? Because what really happened? I, I've been on Scepter a lot of times. 
And I've been on the train track part. So, sorry, ma. I've been there. I ain't never passed out right there. And I passed out on something. Now, if you want to hear my passed out on something story, but we want to hear when you passed out on something, nigga. However, did she pass out, like, off the train? Ass up in the air. Yeah, I feel like she got electrocuted. However, the next slide says nothing. Just has her butt. Look. Look. She pissed on herself. Yeah, she got electrocuted. And that's my assumption. I'm going with electrocution in the butt. And to your next slide is, oh, what's up with you? Look, see? Y'all always talking trash about white people and Chinese people and all them type of... This lady's risking her life because there's no... I bet you was niggas on this platform. I bet... Nigga, nigga. Nigga, 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 niggas, niggas got their phones out. One Chinese lady like, man, let me help this lady. That is crazy. Look how sick, how twisted, how maniacal, how diabolical, how sinister Philadelphia is. This lady all the way from goddamn Orientalville, she came over here, she jumped in the tracks, risking her goddamn Pikachu powers. However, I hope this lady did make it together and when you get up miss let us know how did you fall like this is wrong. in other news we at diamond street young boy if you don't know who diamond street young boys is where are you from everybody know diamond street and they got young boys it's that easy i have a part of my dyslexia says diamond street young boys walking through Auckland. Now, where is the Diamond Street old heads? Because y'all be like, young boys, uh-uh, this is not it. You see, we don't got no friends no more, right? Remember last summer, it was a lot of us. This summer's not that much of us. Next summer, it might not be a little, you feel me? It's not something you want to do. I promise you, this is absolutely the dumbest, stupidest, retarded game you could jump in. However, some of my sister company, take it away, please. Oh no, you try yo, you trying to get me booked. Continue. Yeah, I don't know who this young man is. However, if you do know this kid, tell his mom. Yeah, let his mom know he out here in Auckland acting crazy. So if he get if he gets shot in Auckland, she won't be like, what my son do? Why they target my son? Your son was in Auckland acting crazy. He out here it's, uh Subliminals. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's doing. However, the ops will. If he have ops, he look like he's too young to even have ops. Why you got ops that young? However, it's, let's see if we can identify the rest of these kids. 10 4, we have a suspect, young Mac, black male, black, drill a step and start moving, push a 70, fix a uniform on. And you. Oh, up, another one. Show him, show him. Ah. Oh, we're going to get y'all niggas. We're going to get y'all niggas. Watch. I'm, I'm like that. I'm like that. Watch this. I'm like that. Wham! Whoever kid this is. <laughs> Nigga, you thought you was low? You know your kid, miss. You know if you brought that hoodie. That's not a cheap hoodie. He probably stole that hoodie. However, I hope he didn't. I hope you brought it. I hope you can identify your child and tell him to stop playing like that. Because if I got to put you in a box, I'm going to cry. You ain't going to cry, nigga. You going to die. You remember? Let's see if we can catch the last young boy. Simple, we have a sus second suspect. Black young male, long dreadlocks to a shoulder length, red hoodie. Next suspect is, oh, we got him. He looked like a little older. However, I can't really see his face. But when we do identify y'all, we're going to ask the Diamond Street OS to please do your jobs. Let these young niggas know it ain't a game. This is not Call of Duty. This is not Grand Theft Auto. This is real life. You feel me? There's only two ways out. You can go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Do not do none of that. Or you can go lay in the ground. Quick, because everybody got to lay in the ground. But you can lay in the ground at thirteen. You feel me? F is wrong. In other news, when we at the Go Regina. If you don't know who the Go Home Reginas are, they are actually the opposite of Go Home, Roger. Yeah, nobody wants you around here. Why are you around here? However, I'm going to send over my sister company. Take it away, please. Continue. Exactly what I'm telling y'all. Go home, Regina. These streets is not a game. Y'all trying to TikTok, get tick shot. 
Then what? She was just a good kid. She should have been in the fucking crib. That's what she should have been. Y'all think this is a game? Y'all think this is Call of Duty? Y'all think this is Grand Theft Auto? This is not a game. You will not respawn. You might might be on Mars somewhere. We don't know, though. We don't know where you respawn. It will not be on this month. You, I promise you. I'm not the smartest thing in the world. I've never been to Harvard, Yale, Princeton. None of them institutions. Only nigga I heard come back to life is Jesus Christ. No, I'm lying. They be, they be bringing niggas back to life all the time. However, ends in you. Y'all playing. Stop playing. It is not a game, pink hair. It is not a game, little girl. It is not a game. These young men is losing their life for the scoreboard for no reason. Because little girls like y'all think it's cute and y'all approve of it. Unknowingly, I'm not blaming y'all. I'm just saying. If y'all stop dealing with the drillers, stop stomping moves and pushes, niggas will stop being drillers, stop stomping moves and pushes. So kids, please don't make us a show. Make us a show you're probably a stupid, dumb, retarded motherfucker. Drillers, stop stomping moves and pushes. You're probably not going to make it in life. You probably don't have no dreams, no goals, no aspirations. You're probably going to embarrass your parents. Because this is the type of show this people make. It's not the show you make. It's the worst in the world. It's actually Box 29 News, review like news report. We can box right on to the next my beat the fuck right out of you niggas. What is wrong with you? Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me.